Hey guys, Nick Evanson here. We're doing YouTube, and we're gonna go on a little adventure today. I'm gonna go ride the KLR. Uh, it's an old trail bike that my buddies kind of make fun of me for because it's not a motocross bike, but I don't ride motocross, and we've got some trails out in the backyard. So, come on, let's go have a little adventure. So guys, welcome to the Nick Evanson YouTube channel. Uh, we're gonna come up with a name maybe down the road, but right now, just Nick Evanson, that's what it is. Um, had a good adventure today on the old KLR. It's, uh, it's a 2005, it's pretty old. And honestly, it, it ran for about, I don't know, maybe four years after I bought it used. And then um, I ran it low on oil. And on the interstate, it broke down on me uh, because I let it run low on oil. So I guess I broke it. But um, it sat in my garage for about five years, not getting used at all and my wife was hounding me, as she should have, to get rid of it because it just, you know, was taking up room and was just in the way. But uh, I finally found a good old country boy mechanic who uh, who knew what he was doing and, and figured it out for me. Um, got it running and for a pretty reasonable price too. So got it running and uh, I've been itching to take it out for a little adventure, but haven't had the time lately. Um, been a little busy this year, but uh, decided today, hey, we're gonna do this. I've been talking to my friends about starting a YouTube channel for. Uh, a little while here and I've told a few people that I was going to do it so now I'm committed to doing it. Who is Nick Evanson? Um, I'm a, a Christ follower, I'm a husband, uh, I have two beautiful children and um, I love adventures whether it's on bicycles, motorcycles, out on the boat, uh, you know time outdoors and particularly time outdoors with my family is, is some of the best times that I have. So I figure on this YouTube channel I'll just take you along on the ride and uh, show you some of the adventures that I have but let's get back to the KLR for a minute because I think there's a lesson here. Like, unfortunately, I let it sit in the garage for five years, not getting used, um, but I just couldn't let it go. And I think we all have things like that in our lives. We have stuff on the shelf that we should get rid of. We just don't want to let it go. Um, I'm really glad and, and blessed that I found this guy who was able to make this thing run. Because my dad and I went all through it, top to bottom, and, and thought we had everything set right, but we couldn't figure out what was wrong and it wouldn't start. Um, so this good old boy, he's worked on tons of these things. He figured out one of the gears was in the wrong position. Even though the timing looked like it was right, it still was out of, out of time. So he fixed it for us. And I'm so glad, um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell it. It's, it's great, but I have another bike now and really I just commute. I don't really have time to come out here and ride the trails much. Um, commuting is kind of a necessary thing to get to work and to have a motorcycle, that's pretty cool. Um, this one is more of a, a trail woods bike. And uh, so I'm gonna let it go. So if you want a KLR, Give me a ring, um, but it's a it's a good it's a good time, and I want to have a couple of more adventures with it. So we might keep it around, do a few more videos with it, go some different places. But um, it's been a really good time. If you have things in your life like that that are just sitting on the shelf, um, what's holding you back? What's keeping you from finding someone else who can use that, or finding a way to fix something that's broken? Find someone else, get some help. Um, a lot of times, pride, we want to fix it ourselves. I know with this thing I did, I wanted to fix it myself. And I tried and I tried and it, it just never worked. But eventually I found somebody who could help me make it go. So um, there's a lesson there, you know? If you've got stuff in your life that's just taking up room, sitting around, maybe driving your family nuts a little bit, find a way to deal with it. Make it run. Get somebody else to help you. And then if it's just no use to you, go ahead and let it go. That's what I'm gonna work on. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, whatever people do on YouTube, leave a comment, and uh, we'll go on another adventure soon. See you then.